Here I have cumulative total sales till the month of September. And for the remaining months, I have calculated cumulative forecast values with dynamic formatting. Usually, if you calculate the cumulative total sales, it will extend the last value for all the future months. But if you wanted to show such forecast based on the average actual value itself, you don't have a direct option. So let's create this functionality from the scratch. All right. I have a simple data model with just two tables. Based on this, I have created this line chart visual showing monthwise total sales. Actual values are available till the month of September, and I would like to show the future three months forecast based on the monthly average value in cumulative fashion. So without further ado, let me create my first DAX measure. Measure name I can keep as cumulative sales. Here I will write, calculate sum of transaction amount. And since I need to calculate cumulative sales, I need to filter the table for all the months which are less or equal to the current month. I am including month number because my month name is sorted by month number. Let's remove the total amount measure and use this new cumulative sales measure in my line chart. As that you can see, I am getting the same value for the future months, which is actually the cumulative value for the September month. Now in order to add the cumulative forecast, I need to modify the measure. But for now, I will create a new measure. You will shortly understand why I am creating the new measure for this. My new measure name is with forecast. First of all, I will store the cumulative sales DAX expression inside a variable. I copied this expression from my previous measure. In my second variable, I would like to store the month number of the maximum sales order date. I also need to remove filter on date table. Otherwise, it will return the current month as max month for each X axis value. Finally, in the return statement, I will write, if the current month in the axis is less or equal to the max month, then it will return cumulative sales. But for future month, it should calculate the monthly average sales and then multiply with the difference of current month to max order month. And then it will add the total cumulative sales. This way it will calculate the future cumulative forecast value as well. But there is a very big problem with this. Let's look into it. Select the line chart and replace the earlier measure with the new one. This way, you will see that it is calculating the cumulative values for future months as well. This is based on the monthly average values. But I don't see any differentiation between the actual values and the forecast value. I can use two measures, one for actual values and the another for the forecast value. But still there will be one issue, which we will solve with one of the latest feature. So I will copy this part of the expression, which is the calculation for all the actual total sales. This measure will calculate values only till the last sales order month, which is in this case is September month. Let's use this measure as well. Now I can see the differentiation between actual cumulative value and the forecast value with two different colors, but it is showing double data labels. To fix this issue, I will use custom data label formatting. And for that, I will create a small measure. Before I create that measure, let me apply a little change in my forecast measure. I will change the name, and here I will change the condition such that it will calculate values only for the last month and future months, and will return a blank value for all the previous months. This is actually working fine, but still there is double data label on the September month. So let me create a small DAX measure for the data label. I can name it as data label for forecast. The expression for this is pretty simple. I will validate if sum of transaction amount is blank, then only calculate the forecast value. Now select the visual, go to the data label section, enable the custom data label for the forecast measure, and use the newly created data label measure for this. With that, you will see the correct data labels, which is now showing only for future months. Next, I will format this line chart. I can change the colors for forecast and actual values, and I can also change the line style. For forecast, I can use a dashed line. If you want, you can even change the data label background for the actual values so that you will see the clear differentiation between both the measures. Now we have the functionalities we were looking for. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.